Welcome to the Soft Vikings, a quest for meaning, purpose, love and loyalty. I'm John, the hopeless son. Uh, <coughs> and I'm Eric, uh, still the tyrannical father. I guess uh, it's not possible to escape. No, nah, not this year. Not this year. Maybe well, next year. Maybe next year. Yeah, we, we want to grow out of that, uh, that role, but it's always going to haunt me in a way. Yeah, oh, played it so long. <laughs> so that's uh, uh, about today's uh, topic. It's, uh, I think, the general arc is uh, honesty, which is, uh, for example, admitting that maybe you won't change too much. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the number one rule. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you, you never, yeah. We can change and things. We can modify, maybe. Can, yeah. But like this drastic change, I don't know. I don't know. It's a hope. Yeah. We uh, we adapt. I don't know if that's changing, but uh, to survive, you have to adapt to if, if it's things happening in your environment. Yeah. It's if, the if degree it, of change yeah, is like not maybe you're, the thing. You're going to die. Yeah. No, we are very adaptable and uh, we are adaptable with the truth. And honesty as well. Yeah. So yeah. it's uh, it's hard to be honest because. Uh, yeah, and, and what is, <laughs> what is honesty, right? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the, if you would ask me that question, I would say the short answer is uh, telling the truth. Yeah, and then, but of course, then you can ask, what is the truth? Yeah, but that's philosophy. You never. No, you it, always it's, go it's after. A, it's a long. It's it's a long ask road. Ask new questions. So that that's like the heart of philosophy. Yeah. Um, but I think if you like, if you try to do it like practically, like everyday life, most of the time, you kind of know. <coughs> At least if it's the small things. Yeah, and, and I think that's so important because you can get lost in philosophy and uh, you can start this hair splitting and <coughs> it's you can never come to the end of it. But no. That's the heuristic thing also, and that's like um, the thinking fast, thinking slow. That's how we build. I mean, if you approximately get it right, yeah, that's that the good enough. Then you can act on it. Yeah, exactly. It's the it's the the old fighter jet fighter pilot thing. It's like just get it eighty percent. Yes, correct. Yeah. And then the last twenty, you have to adjust anyways yep. on the fly. So, so, but I, uh, I think it's uh, embedded uh, deep in all of us that <clears throat> we have a sense of what's right or wrong. Maybe that's another concept, but what's the truth? Yeah, <laughs> I, it seems so. And, 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 and like, at least like what's, what's fair yeah. is, is, is a big thing. We're, for kids, for example, we're yeah. going to share equally yeah. or something. That they know. Yeah, I think they know that pretty soon. Yes. What's fair? Yeah, they have a sense of it. That, yeah. I mean, I don't think humans would have uh, exist as they do if, if we didn't have that trait. Um, it's not like the strongest takes it all thing. It's the, the most uh, adaptable Yeah, takes it all. It has an ability to cooperate or to... <coughs> Oh, exactly, and that comes to what we like, like we talked about um, last time about like business, and you can't do it by yourself, and you can't force people. It's hard. You have to cooperate. Yeah, uh, if you force people, uh, that's um, a costly business. Yeah, then you then you have to b better do some mining or something, <laughs> not too complicated. Yeah, or have a, a, a large security account or something. <coughs> yeah. Secret police. Se yeah, and it's costly, right? Yes. And, and that's a good uh, like segue into honesty. And uh, and we kind of li these days we live in um, in an environment which is um, the big uh, powers and the big ideas are fighting in the information space. So it's. Uh, so much information which is uh, weaponized basically to to make people go 
go uh, and it's uh, also extreme. like we live in <clears throat> we live <clears throat> parallel lives because we live an online life and we we live a real life uh-huh yeah uh, uh, and uh, those maybe never converge or <laughs> they stay in two different uh, <clears throat> lanes and <clears throat> we get confused yeah uh, exactly it's like uh, that comes to honesty too it's it's a very strange situation to say like you live in us in norway where bad things rarely happen to you like personally you ah, never, it's very safe you don't see anything no. it, it's like sanitized yes and then if you and then you are on this uh online space where yes. you're exposed to all these horrible things yes all the time and it's like the disconnect is so huge and and to follow up that i think if you live in like say a war zone it's kind of almost at least then you are in your reality but do you think, I think it, you, 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 you do function think the guys better. in gaza sitting and watching uh uh whatsapp or instagram or something sure. and get of shocked of other things and of course uh, and upset and, and upset of yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so even if and you're looking uh, at ladies in bikinis yeah. and all that but even yeah so <laughs> even if you are in a horrible situation you can get upset in uh online of uh whatever it is i would guess at least i guess it's how extreme but still then maybe you just have less time to do it yeah maybe but uh, but if it's entertainment has always been the premium yes whenever wherever if uh, one guy could tell a story everybody would get, give something yep so that's it's uh, like the storytelling is uh, is huge and that's what's really entertainment it's it's a good story that that's what hooks people and uh, <clears throat> but if you talk about you know okay well, what's uh, honesty what's truth and we can have a theory about that uh, but uh, the important thing is that uh, uh, we all know it in a way uh, sort of we have some compass depends on uh, what sort of ideas we are brought up with maybe or if we're really brainwashed um good it's a good question i think it all usually comes down to that we have the same ideas it's just how you look at it so you would always think of your group as the good guys yeah but in uh, some way if you are in the hamas uh, yeah they're good they're the good guys <coughs> they're yeah, fighting yeah. for the right cause yeah so uh, if you are like uh, uh, yeah I, honestly i'm fighting for the good case I'm, that's that's the truth or i'm honest it's it's always like the ones like and then one group call them freedom fighters the other call them terrorists it's, yes. a, it's, <clears throat> it's that's nothing new and uh, you justify it the the yeah, but no we we always slide into philosophy here no but it is like truth and philosophy is it's really connected because it's an attempt to to unpack it yeah unpack it and, and, and uh, be wiser but, and uh, but then you ask these uh, big questions and then it's really hard to answer but I think truth is like a direction. It's a way you are directing and aiming. It's so like the, 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 the golden uh, treasure at the end of the rainbow. <clears throat> you go after it, but uh, you never find it. But you always have to... It's not like a final destination. It's, uh, it's a quest. Yes. Uh, it, it, it's a quest. And... Um, and there's always like these two questions that comes up right it's uh um one we touched on earlier just like is there a free will do you have a choice and we talked about that before and like landed on uh, i think we agree is it if 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 say you don't it's a useless uh, way of uh, functioning because it's very strong the, the arguments uh, will get really against poor. free will you could <clears throat> there is plenty of easy way to say that nobody has any choice yes and it's pure luck and yes. you're born there and it did that and that that's fine and that might be so but to like live your day-to-day -day life like you don't have a choice is maybe not very useful no then you slide into nihilism or yeah and, totally. and the other and the other thing about 
Like list. the same thing like that is you could ask the question is the world uh, real is it is it a yeah. simulation are we uh, going to heaven is this the, like just what all these alternatives for reality isn't what it, it looks like and that i also would say that might be true but to live like it live your life like uh, it's a simulation on a computer or it's just a trial for the next afterlife. All these ways of living your life, it doesn't seem to be very... Is it a good life, right? Do you uh, have but, a but, but we are Vikings, so we, we go for reality. <coughs> yeah. but, but they believe too, like yes, they, they, they were living for the next one. So yeah, yeah. It, it's tricky. It's tricky, but that was like pumping them up for, for the fight. <laughs> yeah. I think that was part of... Uh, part of it. Yeah, I don't didn't know. live long though. Like average lifespan, like thirty back then. Yes, didn't get old. No, so you better get onto it. So no. Um, so uh, <coughs> on another note, we got a. This is our twentieth uh, episode, which is a landmark. Yeah, it's I mean, a, uh, well done. I, I don't think it goes down in world history as a landmark, but, no, uh, but in our you, little... Uh, that's the new R and the 1% yes. of podcasts okay. ever made. Okay, I didn't know. So that's that's good. Okay, that's good. But uh, Most people stop. I want to be uh, at the other 1%. Mm. So how can we go there? The bottom? <laughs> no. <laughs> they the never top. made a podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. To the top 1%. But yeah, but that's what we are now. Like... Okay, so 99% of podcasts. Never made, makes it past 20 episodes. Oh, okay. So we are already in a, okay, in a good have club. We uh, whiskey today, but we are... It's a little early. Yeah. But uh, it's, uh, it's that's what I'm saying. It's worth celebrating uh, to because it takes <coughs> persistence. And in the start, uh, you are uh, an amateur. And uh, I mean, it's not like you can live off it. And it's all, all of this... Uh, challenges it's not like you have great success after uh, 10 episodes unless you're famous from something else yeah or you hit an herb or something yeah um, i would say that doesn't or really you show happen. your tits yeah you can have shortcuts yeah <laughs> there's many shortcuts yeah uh, but it's uh it's um it's not enough anymore and yeah. it's uh, such a hard uh, thing to do which is to like we we do we don't even have guests yet it's just us two sit down and talk for an hour and uh, and have something <coughs> to say and not plan it like there's there's not four people writing a script for you beforehand no but uh, i think the important thing here is that i've been struggling <coughs> my whole life with <coughs> my relations and <coughs> Sorry, and especially to to uh, to my children, uh, because I never thought they were good enough, and we start digging into that, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you have lived under that regime, and that's done something uh, with you. Yeah. Uh, but things are more complex uh, than we think at the first sight. And uh, when we start digging into it, uh, because this uh, purpose for this podcast is the, the search uh, and uh, start with yourself. Uh, and yeah, I mean... And then also, if, if we want to be honest, it's uh, the reason maybe you don't, you avoid it, it's sometimes it's very painful. Yeah. Because uh, you you suddenly see that you're a fucking idiot, you're a moron, uh, you're you're maybe yeah. close to evil, you're, yeah, uh, and uh, have those you, you don't want the, the, that reality to you know uh, manifest or be clear to yourself. So you, it's a hard truth to uh, yes, to swallow. So you avoid it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, you have our <coughs> Ibsen has a very good saying. Uh, try it's a free translate, but. If you take uh, the the um, um, livsløgn uh, in Norwegian, can I in Norsk first? If you take livsløgn from a gennemsnittsmenneske, so you take also lykken from. Yeah, so. So you take also lykken. So if you take the denial, 
from an average person you also take uh, their happiness away yeah they're like uh, so so we live may we are, we we very much live in it's, it's in the, the story you tell yourself yeah. and if you rub that for uh, then it's life it's harder uh, in a way but it's also there you have to go if you want to grow yeah yeah and get the f- you know more out of your life yeah and that's the the, the, the hard one to, to like say i have to accept that i could be it's in me to be the worst worst of humans and it's in everybody right yeah yeah but that's always <laughs> easy cope out to say everybody but it's in in me i could do bad things yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's that's the the monster and uh, and, and you do bad things yeah of course and uh, and we and but if you can't if the story is i can't i'm not bad then all my bad action has to be shifted around and changed into something yeah, good yep yeah. Because you have to make it fit. So then you have to start telling the lies. And then it comes, and then it starts with all these ridiculous explanations and yes. justifications yep. for your horrible actions. It was because of something else. So, so number one, if you want to be honest, you have to. That's always the starting point. Who in fuck are we? And what you what what is it to no, be a if human? You, but if you want to strive <coughs> to be better, yeah, you yes. have to admit you are bad. Yeah, sometimes. That, that's an honest starting point. Yes, yeah, and and uh, that you make mistakes. And I think the 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 way, at least how I try to look at that, is that since we need to have the hero journey, the hero story in about ourselves to function. Yep. The, I think the way to 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 achieve looking at your your dark sides is to say that is in the quest of getting getting somewhere so you're still a hero just have to face your dark sides no but yeah but you direct yourself in uh, you know and put your attention in the right direction if you are like uh, uh, accepting your dark side this is uh, you know well known in the literature Um, it's uh, that's also you know in all programs if you want to change i mean we went to this uh, when you we tried to sober up uh, this uh, anonymous anonymic aa they have yeah this anonymous, step thing. yeah yeah and the first one is you have to get quit you have to quit the denial yeah 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 that's the, always the first that's, you have that's, to that's, break that's the, the the lift line of yes. ibsen yeah 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 and so but uh, it's but it's it can be very tricky because you can't just take it away you have no, to do no, something no. else and too it, yeah right. and it takes a lot of time and it sneaks back in in the back door and it's a very you know cunning little thing that you are <clears throat> doing with yourself to you know to avoid uh, the changes that's necessary because those changes are in a way painful because you have to burn some old wood you have to let something go you have to sacrifice something yeah if you want to change yeah. and then and, and um, f- for me it's like this conversation with you <coughs> it's been very or it is painful because i'm confronted with a, a perspective or a way to look at things mm-hmm. that's very often um coming from a strange place maybe coming from some wounds in myself or some something that's not really you know digested Mm -hmm. and then you put it out and you you know blame the others yeah uh, projected yeah projected they're not good enough and it's their fault yes but and when it's uh, when it's like a father son uh, setup, it but it's then it's also mixed with the love and with the ambitions in a way because you want your uh, your children or your son to become you know uh, the big hero to you know uh, at yeah. least yeah you you have uh, and that's I think is uh, uh, on the evolution level you know because you want them to be 
fit enough to 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 uh, make your family continue living. Yeah. So that's mixed up. So in a way, it's love and it's uh, uh, um, undigest problems in yourself and it's ambition, and then it can come out very awkward. And then that, uh, to try to, you know, sort that out uh, and yeah. place these things in, you know, both where they belong and in the right proportions. It's tricky. And that kind of leads into the, we're going to start our, uh, the second challenge, the, the mental. <coughs> we got to, like, uh, harden our minds. So yes. then you have to know yourself. Number one, right? That's uh, number one. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to try this method, which is uh, very basic, easily uh, explained by uh, um, trying to write down your uh, inner monologue. So the story, I would call the inner monologue the, the story you tell yourself, basically. And there's different methods, and um, we're just going to keep it very simple. And um, the, the, the practical is that we're just going to have an alarm every day at a certain point. And when that goes off, you just answer five questions. And we do that, uh, si just do that every day for, uh, for six weeks and see what happens. So uh, once a day? Yeah. I found an, uh, then you can I just have a basic alarm yeah. on your phone. Um, and then it goes off. And then when that goes off... Uh, Whatever you you're answer. doing, you just take a pause. And just take a pause, <coughs> to take a couple of minutes to answer easy, e easy questions. And Doesn't those have to uh, be five long. questions are prepped? Yeah, it's going to be the same every time. I'll send you the, the list. Yeah. yeah. You cannot take them here? Yeah, I have them. Yeah. But I don't know how important... No, uh, sure. Yeah, we can do that. So the the alarm goes random, or uh, or you set it on the same time. Yeah, I think uh, it. It's more that you don't like anticipate it too much, but I'm, I think we can just change the. We can just change the. Like uh, if you set a new alarm every day, maybe change it to a couple of minutes or something. Okay. I, I don't think that's the most important. No, no, no. But of course, if you like, you know that 12 o'clock I have to do this thing. Yes. Then maybe you start to prep to, to not be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you should be taken off guard. That's the point. A little bit. But yeah. I don't think that... Um, I think that... I don't think we are that... Uh, far gone that we have to do that we can just do at the same time so the the, um, the five the, questions the five questions is uh, uh, the first one is what is the main features of your inner experience at the moment of the beep so uh, it's like uh, when that beeped were you uh, talking to yourself like what was going on inside your head if you understand the, the question, it's um, <coughs> people have different kind of inner monologues. Some people um, talk to themselves. Some people use different voices. I mean, I don't know what you do, right? Uh, how you talk to yourself? Someone um, don't talk to themselves at all. Someone maybe just thinking in pictures. I don't know. People oh. do different things. Yeah, yeah. But so the question is, when that beep happens. Yeah. What's your, what's your inner state, basically? I'll send you the list, though, yeah, uh, so yeah, you have it. Yeah. So the next question is, how confident are you that your description is accurate and faithful to your experience? So it's a true. How true were you? How honest were you about the answer you just gave? Yeah, so number one, what's happening? Number two, was this uh, was really it, happening? Yeah, was this really true? Yeah. <laughs> are you true? Are you honest yeah, now yeah, yeah. about this? Uh, yeah. And the third question is, 
how typical is this experience for your usual inner life? Yeah. So is this uh, s- something you normally do? Mm-hmm. Because uh, if, if it's uh, unusual, it maybe it's not that important. And then the fourth question is, how does this experience relate to your current situation, mood or activity? That's interesting. Yeah. So are you, uh, are you like, uh, are you like thinking about something completely else than what you're actually doing right now? Mm -hmm. Because of course, if you're doing something very, something maybe you love to do, you, your inner monologue is probably different than if you do something you really don't like. Yes. Yeah. I would guess so. I would guess so. Yeah. (coughs) Or Uh, maybe. Yeah. You have a quiet inside if you do something you really love. To do. I mean, I guess that's like uh, in the in the uh, like the mindfulness uh, philosophy thing is how to quiet down your inner mind. Yeah, yeah. To right, how to make get it, those fucking it. guys shut their fuck up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the last question: um, How does this experience compare or contrast to other experiences? you have had in the past or expect to have in the future so that's a little tricky one but you're just trying to compare how this was compared to how you used to feel or how you expect to feel yes and uh, the the answer doesn't have to be long just keep it short simple and write it down yeah we're gonna write it down yeah on on a physical or a a just use it on your phone whatever you like yeah you can uh dictated to your phone whatever yes. you feel like doing yeah. how you however you like to do it yeah I would and do it doesn't it in the notebook. just quick quick <coughs> doesn't have to be a, an hour of pages no 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 uh, just short sentence so that's like every day yeah and then you evo- we, we collect all of this and yeah. i'm gonna i'm not uh i'm gonna try to find someone who's uh who's actually professional in this method yes. to eva- evaluate because we can look at each other but we'll get someone else to that really knows we get the doing. guru guru yeah we we, so need, that's the, we always need gurus we need gurus <laughs> no it's a it's a method yes and um, and that kind of uh, we're gonna do that experiment for uh, that challenge for uh, six weeks oh, yes and then i think um Another challenge after, which could be very interesting, is to um, to try out uh, all these different kinds of methods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we are here for one to, by uh, one, experiment. just experiment. Yeah, yeah. Be the guinea pigs. So we, yeah, we test out. And we tried some things be- yeah. before, but I think to sit together and like. Uh, we had this guy try questions <clears throat> from back in my days where we were really crazy, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, uh, really crazy, yeah. Uh, and um, we, <clears throat> I try to take the right position here. Okay, so uh, I say maybe I just didn't participate, but uh, I just uh, you Sa- know saying the right words. Yeah, heard about the other guys, but uh, <laughs> there were. <clears throat> um, there was one like basic uh, um, dividing uh, line you shouldn't cross. At least I understood the don't cross it, and that was to shoot, shoot the drugs. I mean, take in with a needle directly oh. into your veins. Yeah, that's that's hardcore. <laughs> yeah, so I understand that that method is like crossing something. So I never did that. Yeah, <laughs> but the guys that did that, they they were like a little bit more crazy and. Uh, back in the days there what they did they were in because in norway uh, you had all these um doctor offices mm-hmm. scattered around so they were like burgling in there oh and taking out every, everything and you have so wisely that the things that are uh, you know uh something you should be aware of that you like couldn't uh, drive on labels. That's, that's with a red yeah so uh, just take those yeah yeah so <laughs> at least you take those and the red they, <laughs> And they didn't really know <laughs> what they were taking they because have no idea. they were like 13, 14 years. And, oh. and then they had one guy, uh, uh, Kjell, Kjell Hansen, I can say oh. it now. I mean, it's a, everybody's Kjell Hansen. 
and he <coughs> because his favorite was uh, to being on this uh, sniffing glue oh yes so he was like really intoxicated all the time <laughs> uh and uh but he was willing to be the guinea pig always oh he's like so I'll they were like th- cooking whatever they got and put it in the needle tried this cocktail yeah and uh he was <laughs> sitting there with glue. the oh glue God, and they shot it in and if it worked on oh. top of the glue he said okay this was good and then <laughs> approved yeah approved hansen and approved hansen's approval hansen's tested yeah, you need a guinea pig. Yeah, yeah, but those guys didn't, uh, you know, didn't make it to twenty years. Wow, well, no, no, they. So it's, a rough so it's life. like two of them. Yeah, the third one actually he quit, so he's still alive. Um, but That's that a hard was, life. That was a hard life. Yeah, back in the days. But what saved me? What this uh, was this uh, instinct, or maybe I don't know. Where you get that from? That you understood that you know <clears throat> to start shooting it, then uh, yeah, it's. Um, but it was like everybody understood it, so it was like a divide. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, very few people go to to like. Now yeah. I'm gonna use a needle t- to get. Oh, yeah, my yeah, eye. it's a lot of things. You have to pass a lot of it's uh, a barrier for yes, most. Yes. Like, yeah, I think I think yeah, then yeah, that's that's uh, threshold. Yeah, I don't know why we felt into that little story. No, no therapy. Therapy. So I mean, uh, drugs can be therapeutical. Yes, they are usually many times described, you know, prescribed for that purpose. But um, that will be later in the. Yeah, we can do that experiment. Yes, down the line. But the point yeah, was we were, we are testing our methods. That was uh, yeah, that's the point. That was the uh, point, and then so uh, not maybe not <coughs> get the, the therapy through the needle. It's a little hardcore. So uh, we'll we'll talk about that uh, off air. Um, but I think that could be uh, interesting to, to to compare and see the different uh, ways of doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of it's course, self, uh, self discovery. Basically, as an old hippie, you always gravitate to maybe there is a shortcut here. Maybe uh, there's some that's, drugs. That's that can, the hope, right? That can take us maybe uh, directly to heaven. Way. Yes. Easy fix. Yes, and we're so uh, as humans, we are uh, always in search of the easy fix. Yes, because that's smart. Yep, of course. And we have discovered Ener- many energy saving. <laughs> we have so many now. Yes. Uh, that, so that's the problem but so the quest for easy fixes is um, ongoing and it doesn't mean that they don't exist but of course most of them maybe not maybe it's not an easy fix no it's opposite i think that's uh, where i'm coming in here or coming from it's and uh, with my experience it's opposite if if, if you if you go for comfort uh, uh you will get discomfort after the comfort. And if you go for discomfort, you will have comfort after the discomfort. It's easy at that. Sure. And just uh, try it and it uh, will manifest. And that's, that's in many ways, that is true, right? But then, but also it's the problem lies in the extremes. So if you just have extreme comfort, you are suffering. Yep. But if you have extreme discomfort, you're also suffering. You have to have a balance. There got to be some moments of joy <laughs> in your misery, or else no, it's just misery. It, no, that's, no, it's, that's it, 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 it's the it's that the misery stops. Yeah, well, this uh, is a, we'll, we'll unpack this. This is yeah. very interesting. Uh, um, so the, the <laughs> absence of misery is like the yeah. the uh, uttermost uh, heaven you can get. No, so this uh, in the monologue will be interesting to see, and because in a way everybody. All other humans except yourself, they're a complete mystery to yes. you, actually. Yes. If you're honest, you have no idea what they're thinking or feeling. Like, you can guess. You can Knut Thompson, uh, you, you read your Knut Thompson. He's uh, yes. one of our favorites. He was <clears throat> but um, he's a complex guy, like all, all great guys. Uh, and he had this, uh, I don't remember uh, which uh, novel, or uh, never mind. So it's, the, it's this guy uh, sitting in uh, this uh, wagon uh, on the way to be hanged. 
Okay. And he's sitting on a nail mm -hmm. that's really painful for him. Yeah. And he got off that way of sitting and felt a moment of true happiness. Yeah. Is this how you're in the monologue is? <laughs> no, but <laughs> At least it's... you got off the nail. <laughs> yeah, it's the absence of the pain. No. You get off the nail, but uh, you're still on the way to be hanged. But that's life. We're, uh, it's, it's a metaphor metaphor yeah. of life. Uh, but it's You're a very grim one, though. Because... Uh, oh, but it's yeah. very true that... Uh, yeah, but it's the way you look at it. Yes. <laughs> it's still your life. Yes. And it's not like you're just on the way to the hangman. But we are, in a way, always. Of course. You, but that's how you look at it, I yes. guess. Like, th that could be... Uh, but the point is that you can be happy uh, even on the way to be hanged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the perspective thing. Yes. And um, yeah, we are a strange creature, humans. We can imagine suffering and then suffer. Yes. It's really weird. And Super. most of the suffering is for imagining because most of the suffering yeah. is that uh, you think uh, disaster mind. will happen to you in the future. Yeah, the, you will get to the hangman. Yes. Eventually. Yes. But uh, it might take a long time. Yes. So. And you cannot <laughs> avoid it, so why bother? No. So maybe get off the nail yes. now and then. Yes. <laughs> Just to enjoy yourself. Yes. So, so you could say if you are or be uh, really, really pessimistic. Really you're, hardcore. You're sit trying on to the nail. find the nail. Yeah. Find the nail. And that's, yeah. I think a lot of people do that. Find the nail on the way, on to, the be way to the hangman. They're yep. looking for the nail yes. to, to suffer more. Yes. And there, but there's a that's such a tricky balance and uh, and like for example uh, I don't have kids but say say you you and uh, many people do like they work hard to create a better life for their children but if you make their life too good they become poor humans like so it's <laughs> it's a paradox so, yeah. the, so the better you succeed in many times the better you succeed in giving your child a better life the worse they'll have it in those yeah sense. but then it's a philosophy what's a better life and how do you you know oh um, it's like pure like um, uh, giving them more comfort more you become a spoiled brat yeah, right, yeah of example. course but that's not a good life no, I agree. Yeah. But the, the risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you that's have to the manage modern, it. Really that's the well. modern uh, torture, you know, that uh, you're doing the wrong things because uh, we are, uh, in a way, um, <clears throat> pushed to think that safety and comfort is the ultimate goals. And it's uh, always been in history, but we just achieved the level of. You know, it comes too easy. Progress, technology, which is it, absurd, which is, we're not made for that many ways our minds aren't prepared for all this comfort and i heard uh, someone said that if you uh, average out how much uh, energy we spend and how many uh, how much technology we use in in uh, for example norway so they if i don't uh, i'm not wrong about it they said that today the average person has the equivalent or the same as 80 servants yeah. working for you yeah, 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 every day. Yeah, that's where the energy is spent. It's so like it's like you have 80 people working for you. Doing your working for you every day. So you're like a like a king. Yes. And and if you went back like uh, 200 years or something, you had you had horses to yes. help you. So you had maybe they said like you maybe had two. Maybe too, if you're lucky. Yeah, and With then uh, you had to cooperate. So we all you have to work together. Yeah, but that's that's a weird way of thinking that you have eighty servants. You, you don't see them, you uh, but you eight, don't see them. You have eighty slaves, and you can see that the slaves is uh, slaves is a dark way of putting it. But no, but sure. it's it's the former uh, biologically uh, mass that uh, we have as carbon in in in. Can, oil and gas and but the, coal. But the servants, you have to pay. And there is a price yes. for the servants. Yeah, that's true. So you I would say it's uh, they're like servants. 
because uh, <laughs> but, but then, has then, its then we're into something more dark, and that's not I don't know dark. It's the different ways to look at it, uh, and that's <clears throat> the modern life and the energy consumption and the consequences of that. And if we are able to, you know, continuing <clears throat> this lifestyle on the planet because the Western lifestyle or the industrial lifestyle <coughs> are spreading. Mm -hmm. And uh, China uh, is there, uh, India is next coming up, and uh, Africa then it's come up, and then the energy need is like uh, tripled maybe from the level today. Sure. And uh, how shall that be managed, or how, where did, do, do we get that energy from? Well, uh, the sun. Yes, it's there. Short that. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. It's not. So you're a technology optimist? You think we will crack the code and I mean, we break out of this uh, dilemma situation with the uh, um, climate problems and the overuse of uh, carbon and the CO2 sure. problem and <laughs> the resources? Because we don't have. Uh, infinite resources do we no but the sun is it's not not gonna last forever but like 200 million bill what whatever million billion years it's long enough for me and you it's long enough and for all for all humanity it's yes. not an issue no no and we have Elon Musk that save us that takes us out <laughs> in the space <laughs> takes us no no so the, the energy is not the the problem is how you capture it and utilize it. Yep. Um, so no, the, the I sun think is we, more uh, than abundant to power everything. I mean, it's impossible to live if you don't see that it's solutions out there. Like, like you, you brought up uh, Elon Musk, and uh, what did he say? He said to power the U.S., you needed the. Uh, it's not big at all. Just an area of sun panels. Yes. Of course, you need batteries and uh, infrastructure, but the tech is there. It's not an issue. You can make it. You can make it tomorrow. Yep. It would take some years, but you can. So the technology is there, but uh, it's more of uh, it's more of control and power. I think. Why haven't we? Why doesn't everyone use uh, nuclear reactors everywhere? It's control. And if people have energy independence. They are independent. Yeah, that's not so good. Well, if it depends how you look at it. Yeah, right? yeah. But from a controlling or uh, from a government perspective, or for example, yes. So it's a lot of uh, fear and hate and uh, tribalism that keeps us back, and that's maybe going to be the downfall of people that we are we, we're too tribal. We just love our team and going to hate your team, and we instinctively <coughs> do this. Yeah, and that takes very long time because uh, we are used to cooperate uh, and learn to cooperate in, in our in-group. That's what we made for. Yeah, and uh, we made progress. So we had uh, established, we have established uh, um, civilization with pretty large in-groups that are able to cooperate with strangers because we say that we are in the same nation or we have the same yeah. religion so there's something that's binding us well, it's not much left if no. you if you talk about think about it in that sense that's like if you divide people now into their so-called religions yes or cultural religion yes what it's like four big groups yep that's not many so uh, so the so world we, we, is already there yeah we are on the way yeah, from like small tribes. Like. Yes. So I think it's definitely possible. Uh, if we not, uh, you know, tear, because now we have the, uh, we can weaponize ourselves so hard so we can tear, tear ourselves uh, apart to, to totally. Yeah, uh, we that's can, nothing new either. You can just find a cliff and jump. Yes. Yeah. Climb up a tree. It's always been possible. <laughs> For the hum humanity as such. Yeah, if everybody just climbed up a tree at the same time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not hard. But that's uh, the <laughs> thing with the, with the big size. You can coordinate <laughs> and you can eliminate a lot of tribalism. Uh, but you can also, you know, make the whole population go in the wrong direction. Of course, of course. 
Oh, and then you could, that you cannot if uh, the, the world are populated with a lot of small tribes that have that, that uh, kind of insulates ideas. you from that yeah, disaster. Yeah. Yes, yes. And we have a will to live. Yes, most people. Yep. And of course, that's been what's uh, so sad about um, whenever you like, if you preach doomsday. It's not very good for people. No, and that's whatever is <coughs> for me. And preach that's it, right? uh, always been a very appealing uh, position because you get a lot of attention if you are. Well, everybody can resonate and yeah. understand <coughs> if you do. Yeah, and, and and you play into people's fears. Of course, and we all have our internal doom day coming up. Yeah, so the, just the climate uh, war discussion is a doom day uh, story, and yeah. And it's like, yeah. And then the savers get all the power. And it's like, so it's very, of course, I, we should take care of our environment. Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah, no yeah. brainer, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, but, uh, but, but it's also a very good platform for, uh, you know, utilizing. Uh, uh, and and the, it comes down to the easy phrase to remember is, is the, is the cure worse than the disease? Mm -hmm. and that's the principle. Yep. So if you're fixed, you fix to the problem makes everything worse than just letting it be a problem. You don't have a good solution, and you shouldn't do that uh, at all. No, and it's it's all about uh, you know what, what are a human and, and and you know how to to look at it. And this is and I think my perspective uh, after a long, long, long life, not that long life, but. There are no final solutions. No. There are problems yeah. and we can manage them, we can handle them, we can live with them. Uh, but it's always trade-offs. There we go. This, the sawwall. Yes. So it's not, never a solution, it's just a trade-off. Yeah. And that's a way, much healthier way to look at things because then you consider the alternative, yeah. which is always the thing. And then you like, are in the reality. Yeah. <laughs> Because the other one are you then you are in utopia because then you think that uh, uh, if everybody do like me and I'm the good person, uh, uh, the world become a, a good place and uh, all problems are fixed. Yeah, it's very, it's a very nice way to think of it. But uh, yeah, I think it's not either or either. No, in but one just way. it's like not humans are. But but the COVID Other that was a, a good very good example of that thinking that this one problem is like the problem, and if we solve that, uh, we will be good or we will survive. And uh, there were no thinking of trade-offs. Yeah, it's 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 so. And strange. people went along with it. Yeah, it's in like huge numbers. I think it's like the human insecurity and it's like uh, if i have a problem and I'm, now we're talking about my problem and i want us to solve my problem i cannot have you bring up your problem or talk about anything else because we've got to focus on my problem and that's i think it's the, the mindset of all this oh uh, you can't bring up another point of view on this problem because we got to solve focus how i'm how, what's the perspective I need to fix? And then any other um, way of looking at it, we can't have it. We got to shut you up, right? So but but <coughs> to be honest and to, to seek uh, truth uh, is like super important and difficult. To be able to understand that the reality just plays out and uh, you have to accept it because reality is there all the time. And it's not necessarily the reality you want or the reality uh, that, uh, you know, uh, gives you what you think you earn or whatever. It's no. there. And uh, the thing you can do uh, is, uh, you know, look at it uh, and uh, it's all uh, up to how you look at it, your yeah. attitude towards the reality. And <clears throat> that's the honesty, right? That you can uh, um, accept uh, the, the reality as it comes. Mm. Uh, yeah. And you can look at it uh, in a positive way, whatever comes.
you know, that's not of you course. Don't, you don't have a choice in in what reality brings in many ways. No, it's and like and you can't stop time. No, and that, that's the big modern thing uh, with uh, comfort and safety and uh, a lot of entertainment and uh, that you emphasize uh, that uh, if if something is not good for you it's something wrong with the reality it's the society or it's the out group or it's uh, you yep. know the hate in the air or it's uh, whatever but it's it's not you no uh, you can outsource it and and that's the whole uh, you know industry is around that that they, they are telling you you can outsource it but you, because you can buy this or you can do this you can you can or you try can, to yeah and you can go with this party Certain or that party effect. And 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 um, <clears throat> I think that um, I guess when you say that, uh, my first thought was that of course you can outsource it. It works. That's why people do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it works. Yeah, of course it works. But you insource misery. Yeah, that's so the there's a price. There's yeah, a trade-off. Yeah. yeah. But if 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 you could not outsource your uh, your pain and misery and your need for identity to others. It wouldn't be any of all this uh, silliness we do. That's true. We wouldn't have sport teams and religions and so we political would, parties. Then we would take out all the fun. Yeah, so it works. Yeah. We can. We can outsource a lot of the responsibility for ourselves yep. to others. And we have to, in one sense, all the time. Yeah, the healthy way is to look at it is that we can cooperate. Right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And that's what we do. Yep. So... I guess the big question is how to cooperate in a healthy way. Yes. Because you can cooperate too much and too little. There is there is a uh, cooperate um, too much that's conspiracy that you can uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean there is a there is a middle way here maybe between say roughly the west and uh, the east like are you an individual or just a member of the group? Yep. <coughs> And maybe there, maybe one day there will come a new way of thinking that's uh, combining these things. Who knows? But uh, we clearly not an only an individual. No, and <coughs> clearly not just in the group. No, and, and that's uh, that's uh, um, where we are in right now. It's like uh, uh, this uh, two, three hundred years of uh, you know. Dramatic uh, growth and technology change, driven by the West, and you can say driven by this this new ideas, enlightenment ideas, mixed with the Christianity that emphasize the individual and and the freedom of the individual, uh, and that's in the, each individual are sure, like that's, that's uh, a way of looking a, at it, a sovereign, uh, holy. That's like the building block. That's one explanation. Yes. Yeah. And and uh, that gives also the individual uh, some some a lot of agency and a lot of freedom, mm. which is now in many senses uh, overplayed. But on the other way, if the barbarian comes to take us, if Hamas comes uh, with their ideas, and you have to say, okay, what you know, where I'm standing. Do I emphasize or do I um, do I belong to my tradition and do I think that that tradition has a higher value than Hamas's perspective? Yeah, it, well, I guess it boils down to uh, kind of the confusion of uh, meaning, you, like you can try to preserve and conserve your t traditions. But that doesn't mean they can't be improved. No, I but think that's <laughs> where a lot of people just get fixed into, we have to f improve everything now, yeah, no, that, that's or we have to conserve everything as yeah. is. And then We are dynamic uh, creatures. We have to adapt to uh, what's happening in uh, our surroundings. Yeah. Uh, and... <clears throat> If you understand but people, they're yeah, not barbarians anymore. No, and no, I think no. we just are. N but but my point is that, as you are say, to just to play back to you, it's like it's all about building on 
where you're coming from and taking steps from that. That's like one way that you can say that's the conservative way of growing. Yeah. You always emphasize and see what value you have in your tradition and your history and you develop from there. The other one is the revolution way of doing and say that all your history, whatever you've done, whatever yeah. up to here is crap. You have to throw everything out. Burn it all down and start from new. Yeah, that's a different way of thinking of it. Yeah, and uh, and that uh, I just have to raise my flag. I, I'm not this revolutionary guy. I think revolutions are not the way to go. I think uh, the way to progress and to growth and to health and to happiness and to meaning and everything it goes by. Sure, but I, I can see that, but... I think you the revolutions that do happen, yes. we rationalize and say oh, that, of course, how that's how it is. Yeah, and yeah. we have had uh, plenty of revolutions in yeah, the still, last hundred years. Last two hundred years, we still uh, yeah, struggle so, with them. So we, we can say I mean, that the revolution is not the way, but revolution is just a fast change, basically. It's quick. Yeah, it, it's dramatic. It's a dramatic event. But the change takes the lot effects. Of, yeah, the ripple effects is like over a hundred years. And we are still grappling with the French Revolution. That's what we're doing here now. We're still grappling with the printing press. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, it, it's crazy. And the, the effects aren't known until uh, way, way later. So yes. in 500 years, they can look back and say, oh, that was rough. That yeah. was good. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. And then at that time, they nobody, grapple nobody with some, cares. But they grapple with something else. <laughs> You're just a few historians. Nobody yes. cares. Yes. <laughs> no, so I'm just going to end on the, the funny thing because you said uh, we, we used the word barbarians in, in uh, English yes. and uh, in Norwegian as well. And um, if I'm not mistaken, it's, uh, it comes from the Romans. Yes. And it means blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It means the people that say it talks like blah blah blah. Yeah. They don't the people who don't understand what they're saying. Yes, the idiots. That's the barbarians. Yeah. No, 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 just because I didn't understand them. It's no. like, of course, why don't you speak Latin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a civilized person. So the barbarians are just the, blah blah blah. The other language guys. Yeah, just yeah. blah blah people. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you got always got to watch out for the blah blah people. But, or or you could, uh, we can learn languages. So. We can speak together. I think uh, that's the hard uh, way, uh, and that is the best way. I mean, if you have an easy way or hard way, we speak in a uh, language uh, that isn't our own, yeah, um, and to be understood by m more people. And uh, it's hard. Yeah, it's it hard. Would be way easier for us to speak Norwegian. Yeah, absolutely. And because uh, you come out with a little, you know, with uh, some accent, and you don't like know half the barbarian, word. half barbarian, <laughs> half Viking, half Viking. Okay, it's, fuck it's you. Weird. We are Vikings. Let's stick to that. Okay? But uh, I mean, most people would call those Vikings barbarians. Yes. So I have no problem in with that. line. No. <laughs> That's good. Okay, guys. I think we're happy for today. Yeah. So thanks for listening, and uh, next time. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.